I've asked you to uh, watch this video uh, about trapezectomy because we've now made the decision to go ahead with the surgery to remove the bone at the base of your thumb, uh, the trapezium, and I'd like you to fully understand all the implications uh, of that decision. Trapezectomy is a very historic operation that we've done since the 1950s. Um, there are no operations that have come along, including joint replacement, that have actually superseded the uh, outcomes of uh, the good old-fashioned trapezectomy. It has high success rates, which is why it's been difficult to improve on that. Um, just simply removing that bone results in patient satisfaction in about 80 to 90 percent of, of cases uh, with relatively low complication rates. There are of course a number of risks as there are with all operations. Uh, the number one risk with all operations is infection and if you have an infection you'll need some antibiotics. Uh, that usually presents with increasing pain in the bandages during the first couple of days after the surgery. Um, if you do have an infection you'll get some antibiotics. We cover the operation with antibiotics at the time of surgery and it's uh, unusual to require any antibiotics after this surgery. The risks of infection of any seriousness are about 2-3%. Other risks with a surgery are that you get persistent pain at the base of your thumb, so it doesn't cure the original problem. Other less common risks are of nerve or tendon injury, or persistent stiffness or hypersensitivity around the scar. And some patients will present with uh, generalized stiffness in the hand, uh, which will take an awful lot of hand therapy in order to make them uh, have the outcomes that they were hoping for. The vast majority of patients undergoing a trapezectomy have a very straightforward outcome and 90% of patients uh, by three months are delighted that they've had it done. They have a normal range of motion of the thumb, uh, good pinch strength uh, which continues to improve up to a year or two even after the surgery and the pain uh, relief from this operation is excellent. When you come in for your trapezectomy operation you'll come to the ward in the usual way and you'll change into a theatre gown and hospital underwear and the nurses will um, do all the preparatory work uh, paperwork etc and you'll sign a consent form uh, and we'll go through all the consent issues again and you'll have your hand marked before the surgery and we have to perform the World Health Organization surgical safety checklist and this will be done on the ward and in the anaesthetic room before the surgery. When you come down to the anaesthetic room the anaesthetist will either perform a regional block if that's what the region if that's what the anaesthetist has decided to do with you or uh, they will go ahead with the general anaesthesia. Uh, once that's been performed the operation will then take about an hour and then you'll go back to the recovery room uh, where um, you'll spend another half an hour or so until you're well enough to go back to the ward. In the 24 hours after trapezectomy, um, it is likely that you'll need some painkillers and you need to keep your hand elevated. It's often a, quite a painful operation uh, in the first 24 to 48 hours. Uh, some patients will need to stay overnight following the surgery, uh, but the vast majority of patients will go home. But make sure that uh, we have plenty of analgesia in place in the event of uh, pain during the first and second nights after the surgery. Elevation is key to trying to reduce this and your pain should get less every day. As the pain settles over the first few days, uh, you find you can do more and more with your hand um, and the thumb is completely immobilized in the bandage after the surgery and that bandage stays in place for two weeks. Your fingers are free but there's not much that you can do with this hand other than using the fingers against the bandage. Um, the hand should be elevated for the best part of the first two weeks after the surgery. Um, which is when we then take the bandage down and apply the thermoplastic moulded splint to your thumb. A hand therapist will do that for you and then we can inspect the wound, remove the stitches if necessary. Sometimes I use dissolving stitches in this indication. And then you start using your hand a little more normally. The hand returns to normal function by about six weeks. Uh, for hard pinch and grip strength it often takes three or four months to achieve that. But a full normal range of the fingers and a good range of movement of the thumb is usually achieved by about six weeks. Uh, following trapezectomy, it's really important that you um, engage with your exercises and that you see the hand therapist on a regular basis. And that will often need to be arranged on a weekly basis um, and sometimes more often than that in order to make sure that you uh, get a decent range of movement in your thumb and your fingers after the surgery. If there are any concerns following a trapezectomy operation, such as increasing pain within the bandage or some swelling in your fingers, then you should contact my secretary or call the hospital where the operation was performed and we'll arrange to see you as appropriate.